What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today we have a slightly different video for you guys. We're going to talk about Crow and if he is balanced or not. Now obviously you see it a ton on Reddit, it's basically like the biggest meme right now in Brawl Stars, but hashtag buff Crow. Now personally, I don't think Crow needs a buff, but let's get into the video and I'm going to explain with you guys my thought process as well as many top players in the game. Let's get into it. Alright, now instead of talking live over the games, I decided to have some pre-recorded games of me playing Crow, and I'm just going to talk to you guys. So basically, we played like six, six Crow games, we're going to have six Crow games in here. We're going to have three Brawl Ball and three Heist, I believe. Now we did win all of them, and I'm going to give my opinion first. I'm going to talk about my feelings on Crow and why I feel like he does not need a buff, and then we're going to go over why some people do think he needs a buff. Now, let's go over my opinion. So my opinion goes like this. I've been a decent Crow player for a decent while now. Now, I really enjoyed him in Portrait. Uh, this is probably a year and a bit ago, way before Brawl Stars came out globally while the game was still in beta. Now, Crow was considered to be the strongest brawler or one of the strongest brawlers for a really long time. There were even metas where Crow was the best brawler. You can play him as a mid, you can play him as a lane. You could have always played Crow anywhere. And this was obviously an issue. Now Crow is a really annoying brawler. What's Crow good at? Crow is an assassin. He didn't used to be, but now he's an assassin. You're supposed to just stand back and pinch away, or sorry, pitch away and just hit your poison daggers, hit them low and basically get them super low. And when you have your super, you jump on them and kill them like an assassin. You're supposed to hide behind walls. You're not supposed to do too much. And you're basically just supposed to chill. Now, how I see him being played currently is people just walk up and they auto aim brawlers. That's literally all they do. They just walk up and press that auto aim button, and that's just about all they do. And yeah, Crow's not good at that. So what people are saying, buff Crow, because they're just playing the brawler wrong, in my opinion. Now I'm gonna have a few games here where you guys are sort of gonna be able to see how I play Crow, and I just kind of chill. I stay back, and that's basically it. So what I think right now is Crow is a perfectly average brawler. Now there was a time back, probably three months ago where I was still playing for a Tribes competitive team and we were facing Nova. Now Heist is our, was our weakest boat at the time, we were really good at gem grab, we were really good at Brawl Ball, but for some reason we just couldn't nail Heist. And we were facing actually Nova Esports team, and Nova banned Pam for the set, because each brawler gets one ban for the set, so they banned them for the Heist set. And we were playing on, I forgot the map name, Ugh, I forgot the map name, but anyways, we would play like a Thrower, a Tank, and a Jesse, and they played a Thrower, a Tank, and a Crow. Now, the crow absolutely dominated. The crow killed us a bunch of times, the crow kept jumping on our throwers, which is what you're supposed to do with crow, and it basically just dominated the entire game and was the reason they won. Now, why did the crow do so well in a competitive setting, but the crow never does well, and a crow is a very low brawler, usually on ladder, for everybody, uh, just in the normal game? The reason being is because they eliminated Pam. Now, if you think right now, what are the five best brawlers in the game? I'm gonna give you Pam, Nita, Leon, Barley, and probably Spike. Now if you think about it, Pam is the number one counter to Crow and has been the strongest or top three brawlers for probably five months now. Even Nita. Nita's been a top five brawler as well for about five months now and that's one of Crow's biggest counters. You look at Leon, Leon is another brawler that does exceptionally well against Crow. Now Spike on the other hand, Spike and Crow, they don't really counter each other. Crow has some strong can do some things on Spike, like jump on him, and Spike's generally weak, but usually Spike will be able to beat a Crow. But Barley, Barley Crow is very, very good at killing. Crow can jump on the Barley, Crow can chip the Barley. That's someone that you want to be going for if you are a Crow. Now, who, do, who are the brawlers that Crow does exceptionally well against? You're gonna look, you're gonna think about brawlers like Dynamite, Barley, both of the throwers, another Crow for say, and normally just heist brawlers, even ranged brawlers like Brock and Piper, you can kind of just chip down and jump on them. Ricochet, Colt, just low HP brawlers are the ones that our crow is really good against. These brawlers are all not currently in the meta. Now you ask why? Because the control brawlers that I've named before, Jesse, Leon, Pam, Nita, are the current meta brawlers and all counter those ranged ones. Now crow, crow's probably in the middle when it comes to usefulness when there's no counters on the map, but basically that's just out of the picture. That's not really what I want to be talking about. I just want to talk about the fact that Crow doesn't need a buff. It's just these other brawlers, a counter Crow, that need a nerf. Now we're going to talk about Alec26. Now Alec is a very close friend of mine and he has been for a while. And he's basically seen as the number one Crow player ever. 
Now there was a point of the game where he was first crow, probably for about four months I would say, and he even hit 1,122 crow. Now there have been a few people cheating and rigging matchmaking, but Alec I think is the third or fourth highest brawler. Uh, Alex Crow is the third or fourth highest brawler that's ever been in the history of Brawl Stars. This has been a game that's almost been out for two years. We're a couple of months shy of two years and he's third and fourth, third or fourth ever. So Alex opinion is extremely, extremely, extremely valid when it comes to Crow. He made a tweet uh, a little bit longer than a month ago and I'm going to read off his tweet word for word. I'm going to show it on screen to you guys. He says, Crow needs a rework. With all this talk of a Crow buff, I've had a lot of people ask me my thoughts because many know me as someone who's played Crow more than anyone. All these screenshots from different seasons below, I'm going to pop up the screenshots on the screen. First off, I think Crow is the worst brawler in the game. At the moment, and for a legendary, he clearly needs a buff. With that being said, I think Crow is in similar position to Jean at the moment when it comes to their wide variety of abilities that make them decent everywhere. At the time he made this post, Gene had just come out, and Gene was kind of decent everywhere, but he really wasn't exceptional anywhere. Let's continue Alex's post. But great nowhere, continuing on that fact that Gene and Crow aren't really superior anywhere. Crow has a super, close attack, and speed that makes him an assassin, but low health, poison ability, and a star power that makes him a brawler that sits back and does damage over time. As a result, Crow isn't really good anywhere. In my opinion, what should be done to Crow is a rework rather than just a straight buff. Either make Crow a brawler that sits back and does damage by buffing, by buffing poison and dagger damage while nerfing his super or make Crow an assassin by nerfing poison and buffing his super. I personally think Crow should become a brawler that sits back and does damage over time rather than an assassin as Daryl, Mortis, and the addition of Leon are already new OP assassins in the game and legendaries like Crow should be unique. All of this is just my thoughts. Now he did tag Ryan, uh, Frank, who are the heads of the game, and even Brawl Stars. And this is actually a very valid opinion. Now I could agree with this because I do think he is good. There's two different sides of him. There's the assassin side and there's the chipping side, which I've mentioned already in the video. And I feel like some brawlers, like you look at Primo, Primo just walks up. He's a tank, he has his role. Bull, tank, has his role. Piper, sits back, does damage, has his role. But there are some brawlers that do multiple things. Now, Alex saying that he's the worst brawler in the game, I don't agree with. Do I agree he's the worst brawler in the current meta? Yes. The current meta, as I've said, being Pam, Leon, Nita, Jesse, Barley. I can go on and on. Just control brawlers that control the middle, do chip damage, don't really do big, big amounts of damage, and have high HP. And that is what Crow really struggles against. There hasn't been a really big meta shift in a long time, and I feel like if another brawler was a meta, let's say Mike was the strongest brawler, then Crow's stock would instantly rise because Mike is Crow's direct counter. I mean, Crow is Mike's direct counter, sorry. But if another brawler for, say, Primo, Frank, a tank, or the, even these current brawlers stay meta, then obviously Crow's stock would stay where it is at the bottom. Now, I feel like what I would do is I would just personally change the meta. There are metas, there's nothing you can do. There are going to be specific metas, but I don't think you should stick with one meta for a long period of time. This is just unfair for people who enjoy playing brawlers that are out of metas, such as, for example, the newly edition Carl, who's not very strong. Crow, Dynamite, just brawlers who haven't had a lot of love in a while. Even Piper. Piper hasn't been good since she came out. This has been like a year and a half since Piper has come out and she hasn't been a good brawler. Now, I know this is just a little bit of a rant on my side and we want to show up some facts. So we're going to just talk about Ash right now. Now, what Ash does, he has a great YouTube channel also. Uh, check him out. We recently did an interview and I spoke about my Carl. Is he basically takes all the brawlers in the top 200 and he calculates the average. So for example, out of all the top 200 Barleys, the average was 745 trophies. This was the number one in the game, followed by Pam 735, Nita 712, and so the meta brawlers. Now you have to go all the way down to number 20 to see Crow. This is fifth lowest on the list, comparative to other brawlers, like I said, Piper who's around him, Carl who's a new brawler, so he, sh so he should probably be an exception because he came out with two days left in the season. But anyways, Crow is the fourth bottom brawler which clearly states that he's out of the meta. Now, all I think that has to be done to Crow, I do not think he needs a buff, I do not think he needs a rework like Alex says, but I do just think there needs to be a change of meta, and then we can see what happens. I think if these control brawlers weren't at the center of the meta, 
then you'd see Crow being a lot more viable and you'd see Crow being played all over the place in competitive on ladder and just anywhere you see just like he used to be. That's going to be my opinion on Crow. If you guys want to share your opinion, comment down below and I'm definitely going to respond with it because this is, a, this is a subject that's been touchy for a while and I feel like there hasn't been much pro player input outside of what Alex said on Twitter. Now I'm going to answer all your comments, I'm going to give my honest replies and if you say something that I find intelligent or if I find something that is actually reasonable, then I'm going to make sure I forward it to someone who might even forward it to Supercell, but likely they are looking at this right now, uh, are looking at not the, this video, sorry, but they're looking at Crow right now and deciding what they want to do with it. Anyways, that's going to be it, guys. That's my opinion on Crow. I hope you enjoyed the game plan. I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Make sure you leave comments down below about your thoughts on Crow, and I'm going to make sure I answer them all because I do enjoy discussing topics such, such as this. Anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. You already know, and I'm going to be back tomorrow with another video. Peace.